All right, guys, we do have the 53rd hired request of 2017 up today. And yes, I will finish the whole list, hired request list, before the new year, and then I'll take a new list. So be thinking of what you want to request. Don't send it to me yet. I won't be able to respond. When I open the gate, then uh, you'll have some time there to submit your hired requests for 2018. But right now, I just got to get done with the this year's list. We're doing the, Yama the Yamato Sleeps Under the Setting Sun. I have never heard that piece, um, but it's a very majestic, regal arrangement. Let me play some of it for you, so instead of talking about it, here we go. So that's the beginning of it. Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one for this. We'll do the whole thing on my website. We have done the whole thing on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices, something on there for everyone, no matter what type of music you're into. Even if you are a complete beginner, I have complete beginner lessons. If you don't know anything about music, anything about piano, not to fear. I have... 50 basic lessons to get you going and get you started. You can move on to something like this someday. Well, this is a big arrangement. I don't know what it's from or anything, but it's, it's very cool. And I was given some leeway on making my own arrangement of this with some certain uh, characteristics that uh, the person that hired me to do this wanted to be in that. So I've done my best on this. So let me show you what we got here. We'll start with the left hand. And we'll go A, A, D, two A octaves, then a D octave, and very strong. Dun, dun, dun. And then we're going to come up here, D, F, A, D, one, two, three, five in the right hand, and go ba, 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 one, two, three, four. It's a triplet, triplet one, triplet three. So it's bum, 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 triplet dum, bum, bum, bum. Now what I, I've started liking to do is... After I play that D, da, 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 I'll come down and real put a rumble underneath on a low D octave. It just gives it more power down there. Even though I don't, that's not the octave that the uh, low brass is playing, I think it just adds some depth beneath. So if you go bum, 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 just, just lightly underneath, way down here, that's optional. If you want to do that, I think it adds. Okay, so bum, bum. don't have to add that but now we're going to do E C D obviously the melody is in the octave bass E C D now we're going to go da 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 on that D minor chord five times it was four times to start with now it's five bum, bum, bum. one two three four five same thing you can come down and do that or you know what you could also just stay in the octave you're in down here Lord just give me that option now uh, we're gonna do like we did at the beginning a a d one two three four again bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. so e f d a and part of the reason we do that little tremolo is because brass instruments string instruments their notes can keep going they can even crescendo as they're holding notes out one of the shortcomings on piano is that as soon as you play a tone, it begins to die away and decay, right? So we have to do something sometimes to uh, help that. And a, a tremolo can help that, or playing the notes again in the right hand will help keep that illusion of crescendo on the same note. So right here, E, F, D, A, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll move the right hand chord up. It's still a D minor, but it's A, D, F, A, one, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you go ba, 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 ba. Come down here and do an A tremolo. So let's do let's do that part from the beginning. And go. Da, da, da. Let me start again. I forgot my triplet.
So I kind of changed the style there uh, because of the, the way it's being played. The, the trill. Well, that's enough for the part one, though. And I have some more written there if you want to hash through and try to decipher what I've written here to, to figure it out to play a little more for yourself. But there's the part one. And we will finish it on webpianoteacher.com. Hope to see you there. And I'll talk to you guys later.